Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. The tennis court can be a battleground, but it looks like a superhero playground in Monterey. What happens when a pro tournament invites the world's greatest superheroes to join the field? We learn their secret identities. Here's Anna Ivanovich as Catwoman at the WTA Player Party. Russia's Anastasia Pavlyuchenka came as Captain America. Yovana Chasik came as Wonder Woman, and Kristina Medenovic stole the show as, well, we're not really sure who Kristina suited up as, but she certainly looks powerful as part of the tournament's We Can Be Heroes campaign. When Ivanovic and Chasik weren't busy fulfilling their duties as superheroes, they were having a great time in the streets of Monterey. A year ago, the two women squared off in the first all-Serbian WTA final in history. Here, the ladies drew a big crowd playing street tennis, drumming to Bastille's hit Pompeii, and they showed off their dance moves. Well, world number two, Roger Federer didn't need a cape to continue his history of heroic achievements. The Swiss defeated world number one Novak Djokovic in straight sets to win his record seventh title in Dubai. Roger says the seventh is unbelievable after his 6-3, 7-5 victory in the final. Well, we believe it, Roger. And in that match, Federer became the fourth man since 1991 to hit 9,000 aces. The 33-year-old Swiss raised his record to 2017 against Djokovic, beating the top-seeded Serbian in a final for the first time since he won their 2012 title match in Cincinnati. Fed says it's a nice rivalry, and he knows that people like the way they play against each other. Roger shared this selfie with fans as he drove off in the desert with the title trophy stashed safely in his trunk. Okay, so what do the Dalai Lama and David Ferrer have in common? Turns out actress Eva Longoria is a big fan of both. The Desperate Housewives star and her boyfriend were in the crowd to watch Ferrer beat Kei Nishikori and capture his fourth Acapulco title over the weekend. Though they sometimes looked more interested in each other than in the tennis, the couple were so close to the court they could practically whisper in Ferrer's ear. The 32-year-old Ferrer is off to a red-hot start this season, already winning his third title. David raised his record to 18-1 and in becoming the first man since Yvonne Lendl in 1985 to win titles on clay and hard courts in back-to-back -back weeks. For his efforts, Ferrer earned $343,000, a cool red sombrero, and of course a victory photo with a lovely Ava Longoria. Longtime tennis fan Ava is good friends also with Serena Williams. She was on hand for Serena's U.S. Open victory last September. It seems celebrities are popping up all over tournaments happening around the world. Soccer star David Beckham made Victoria Azarenka's day, and ours too, posing for this photo with the Doha finalist. Vika, as you can imagine, was all smiles, saying she thinks every girl in the world might be a bit jealous of her moment. Azarenka says she admires Beckham, not only for his amazing athleticism, but just because he's so beautiful as well. And We've got to agree. Vika summed up the thrill with this tweet. I'm blushing. Who wouldn't? Hot damn. Hashtag, well, now I'm blushing. Doha champion Lucy Safarova beat Vika in the final and celebrated her biggest title, feasting on a duck dinner cooked by her sister. Meanwhile, Monica Puig experienced what she called the best night of her life, meeting her idol, Puerto Rican pop star Cheyenne, backstage in Monterey. It is a mutual fan club between the Puerto Rican pair. Cheyenne plans to attend Monica's match when she plays in Miami later on this month. Well, the King of Clay is now a co-ruler in the record book. Rafa Nadal beat his good friend and fishing buddy Juan Monaco in the Buenos Aires final to win his first title since he collected his ninth French Open championship last June. Rafa captured his 46th career clay court title to equal Argentine legend Guillermo Vilas for the most clay court crowns in the open era. Rafa says all the titles are special, but he's really happy because he hasn't been a champion, he says, for a long time. Nadal will now try for his fourth Indian Wells title coming up later this month. Before the 2015 Davis Cup season begins this weekend, there was some serious court construction going on all around the world. Organizers put a fresh coat of paint down in Glasgow where Andy Murray leads Great Britain against the USA. And it was ice capades in Vancouver as the crew there was working to remove the ice hockey rink and lay down the quick hard court at the Thunderbird Sports Center. 
Big serving Milos Ronic and Wimbledon doubles champion Vasek Papasil head the Canadian team against world number four Kei Nishikori and Japan in what could be a thriller there. We leave you now with a sneak peek inside Serena Williams' closet. Turns out even the world number one sometimes struggles to figure out what to wear. Looks like Serena made a good choice. That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.